you will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. What's up guys, it's Burbank back here, and today we are playing something a little bit new. I, I've talked about doing have run something new lanes. here, and we are doing it. Ignore the tutorials, I would turn them off if I knew how to. <laughs> um, we're going to be playing some Darkest Dungeon, hopefully Despite you like the uh, cinematic to start with. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's a great cinematic. Um, and we are going through here with Dismiss and Reynold, uh, starting two characters as we go through the little tutorial to get uh, started here. Um, so I've played this a bit in my off time. Um, I will go ahead and preface, I'm really bad at this game, very bad. Um, so we're going to be playing this in Radiant um, to start with, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, if we lose within, you know, the first ten episodes, uh, it is what it is. Uh, that will give us the excuse to switch to modded. But I didn't want to start there. I wanted to start uh, with the standard uh, set and the standard game before we went into the modded version. It has made more sense to me um, to introduce it that way, and we will see how it goes. Uh, we are going to. Uh, we are going to uh, well, yeah, they have. We have extra stress right now, and we really want to avoid a lot of the stress to start with. Um, damage isn't going to matter as much to start with, but stress will a lot. Ooh, the switch up. I do not like that very much. Um, okay, so darkest dungeon. Um, as you can see, it it will end up being a four character kind of dungeon crawlish game, roguelike. Um, for those who've not seen it, it's been around for a bit. There's a fair amount of um, DLCs, and we are playing with all of them. I don't know how much I'll use uh, the, the latest one that came out, which was Butcher's Circus. I think it's more intended for multiplayer. Uh, I have not used it very much. Um, but we'll, we'll see. If we decide to try it, we can. Um, would not harm anything at all. Uh, let's try to stun here. Resisted. Okay. And then I'll get into some more of the specifics. Actually, once it's not over. Because I should probably explain a little better. Um, so what we have here, well, once he's done with his, let the enemies who go quickly uh, do their thing. Um, what we have here, here's a map. Uh, this tutorial is only two rooms, and then we will get to go over to the hamlet. I think hamlet, right? Township, whatever it may be. Um, we have this is where our, our inventory, um, certain things you can use during combat, certain things you can use outside of combat. Uh, each character has four moves out of eight to play with, um, and then you have a movement, um, and each character is a little bit different on how far they can move back and forth. Um, as you can see underneath, when you hover over the um, different moves, they each have different stats, different amounts of damage. Um, uh, as such, let's actually right click here to have a full screen. Um, here's all our resistances. Stun, which is what you've seen, it'll cause an enemy or character to skip a turn. Blight uh, and bleed are different um, uh, damage over time. DOT effects, um, which are pretty good. Move is like how likely a, a enemy can move you backwards or forwards. Um, debuff is as you would expect. And disease would go right here. Um, there are negatives. You have quirks. Um, these are like good and bad effects that will generate on your character based on the different runs. Uh, you can remove them or lock them in. Um, I don't think you can lock in the negative quirks, only the good ones, but you can remove them. Um, hard noggin, harder to stun, plus two speed. 
that's actually pretty good. Um, in my off time playing, I've had a, a speed. Usually speed is one of those stats I don't really care about, but I feel like it's been rough. Especially you surprise an enemy, um, and then they get they take their turn at the end. We'll take all their turns. And then if they're really fast, they would also then on the next round take all their turns again. It's rough. Um, and this is like our equipment that we can upgrade. And then you have slots for trinkets. Um, torch, you can make uh, brighter or lower if you have torches. Uh, and some effects like uh, the bull Bulwark of Faith will increase the torch light. Um, but that will gives different effects based on uh, how much torch light. Uh, if you have it brightest, the most chance to dodge, scout, and surprise the monsters. The lower it gets, the, the more uh, effects the enemies get, but also the higher chance of getting good loot. Um, so he's dead, so we need to get the guy in the back. Um, I out. We're just going to actually move backwards here. A little bit of a waste of a turn, but it is what it is. Cannot help it. And unfortunately, I could kill him, but it doesn't really... Do what I need. We should try it just to see if we can get a crit, Monsters maybe. Get a little, oh, and we got a little strike. That's what I was merit. going for. Unless and then he'll probably get the start first. Oh, nope, we get the first the go virgin. here. Pistol shot should be able to kill him. And the crit there. A little bit of stress relief. So we, we come out with nine. Not bad deeds and gold. Uh, we want to they can be beaten. continue the adventuring to at least open up this chest here. Something does not look quite right with this one. I think it'll actually hurt us. I'm actually going to head home. There's some items you can use to in when you interact with the different objects. Took a second there. Um, to get benefits, you probably had to use a key or something on that to open it. Uh, unsure currently. Went up in resolve. Uh, nothing negative, nothing gained. So that is fine. And here is our Hamlet. I was right on the name. Welcome home. This is Reynolds. I'll tell you the daily activities. We are, I think I mentioned earlier, playing on lands. Radiant, They're which is the easiest now. of all the difficulties, but I'm still not guaranteed that I'll do charms any good with that. All the forgotten corners Open of up the all earth. of our little things here. Nomad coach. In time, you will know or stage the coach. Extent of my failings. I understand, dude. Um... I actually think I'll go ahead. Here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I actually want to. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws. Shut your mouth. <laughs> fools and corpses. I guess it's because I opened all the. All will buildings. find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the stagecoach. Um, the more heroes we have in here, are they called heroes? Yeah. Uh, we have in the coach the more we can recruit after each day. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Yep. Um, this is all of our some of the different things we can bring home uh, when we go out questing. Um, they kind of pertain to the upgrading of your uh, hamlet. Uh, as you can see, I'll take three deeds and four crests to upgrade the stagecoach. Uh, yep, we're not. We can't do this one yet. And I don't think we need to increase the size of our roster. We already got ten. Um, let's go ahead and do this upgrade. Ooh, more get, arrive, get foolishly seeking fortune. I don't and glory think it's necessary. In yet. this domain of the damned. I got you, dude. Um, I, I want to save some more of these for once we. I get. I get it. We got to embark. Uh, for once we get the guild and the blacksmith opened, because these are pretty big to upgrade. The Nomad Wagon's usually pretty good to upgrade. Ooh, Moon Cloak would be really good. I don't know if it's below 26. Actually, not as good as I thought it would be. Um, maybe if you were playing a, a, like a high... Um, what's the word? A, a high loot kind of run, trying to get a lot of loot. Uh, that would be good, but... Your work begins. We are not. We are playing our second round. Okay. Let's look at all of our characters here. Um, this is... The usual suspects. Certain groups have names associated with them, which I find pretty fun. Um, I wish they all all combinations would have it, but there's a lot of characters, so I get not doing that. Um, let's look here. We've seen Reynold, uh, Bulwark, Bulwark of Faith. He has a stunning blow to stun. Zealous Accusations, which will hit uh, two rows uh, for damage, and Smite, which again is just a 
single target attack. We've seen Dismas, uh, Open Veins, a Bleed. Uh, we have Tracking Shot, which I don't really use that often. It'll probably be one of the first ones we remove, but it'll de-stealth an enemy, which we've not seen yet, um, and gives us some damage, accuracy, and crit. Uh, Grape Shot's pretty good. Hits all the first three, not all, the first three enemies um, for a pretty good amount of damage. And then Pistol Shot, we can hit the back three, um, and it's a pretty good uh, like ranged attack. Then we have Verdum. Uh, Ruins Tactician, robust, so pretty good here. Uh, plus 20% chance of stress for uh, against Unholy. Not great, and he has an okay assortment of skills here. I think the first two you get um, from the, whatchamacallit, the uh, starting uh, tutorial, I think always have the same movesets. And I think the Vestal and the Plague Doctor will be the first characters you have with different movesets. So we have a Emboldening Beaver, so plus 20% damage on the target. So that's not bad, plus three speed. Uh, could be good with certain characters, maybe putting it on our Crusader. Battlefield Medicine is pretty good. Um, I like that it cures Blight and Bleed is what it's really useful for. The one healing is okay, could help keep a character alive. Um, I wish we had, I guess we have one of the either Blinding Gas or Disorienting Blast. Those are the stuns uh, for the Plague Doctor, which are pretty good. But we got both the Blight moves. Uh, Plague Grenade hits the back two. And then Noxus Gas can hit the front one or two. Um, pretty good. Four points for three rounds, and this one's five points for three rounds. So pretty good overall. And then the Vestal's the one I'm curious the most about. Ooh, not great on the movesets. Um, you really want Divine Comfort and Divine Grace as the two that she kind of carries. Uh, we got Hand of Light, which is not great. Um, it's a damage move to to the first three you could use it on. Um, better against Unholy, but gives us plus damage. So if you were using the Vessel for a damage character, it'd be all right, but that's she's more of the intended healer. Um, Illumination gives us bypass. Is just a, an attack? 90% uh, accuracy. Oh, yeah, it is an attack. That gives an enemy uh, minus 20 dodge and de stealth them. Divine Comfort uh, would be the one you want. Heals the whole party, one to three. Very good. Divine Grace is a single target heal for four to five. And then Dazzling Light is a really good one, um, which you can use to stun an enemy and deal damage and ups the torch. Uh, you really want, in my opinion, Judgment, Dazzling Light, Divine Grace, and then Divine Comfort. Um, but we can always unlock these moves later. Knowing this, though, she needs to be... Um, in space three, and you, we won't even be able to use hand of light. Can I put her in three without hurting ourselves? Yeah. So we'll move her up one. Um, oh, it, it changed to red hook. Interesting. Um, we have to go into the ruins first, which is great for our, um, plague doctor has ruins tactician, so that's pretty good. We have no trinket yet. Nope. Make sure. Yep. And we're going to go in for some gold, crest, and we will. Can, if we succeed, we'll get the stun stone, which is not bad. Uh, plus 10 stun would be good on certain characters. The minus one speed is not too bad. So let's get in here. We're the going to have to provide some provisions, and I'm going to later. see. I think the ruins, try to think of what kind of supplies we need. Ruins, ruins, ruins. I do look this up because I still haven't kind of got it memorized. Uh, more of just the kind of things we will see in here. Uh, uh, high believe resist. Okay. Uh, okay, this is it. Ruins is not too bad. Some of these places require like extra shovels, which I think is the cove. Um, and medical herbs are really good in the cove. Uh, I remember that. I just haven't quite got the. Um, we'll take this. The combination for what's good in the other ones. Ruins, I think, is doesn't have anything like specific. But we're going to bring... I think this is good. Uh, I don't think we need holy water here. Uh, we'll bring one, just in case. I think one skeleton key. Oh, we already have the holy water, so we'll only bring one. I think this is good. This is only a short mission. So we should be fine here. We don't need to rest. Uh, okay, 
We will try going in with this. I'm trying not to over prepare because I, I feel like I tend to grab too much stuff and then don't use it enough. Uh, there's guides for like telling you how much stuff you need per mission, but I don't really want to do it that way. Um, I'm trying to uh, just memorize what stuff needs what. And as you test different things on stuff, uh, it'll tell you uh, what items will work on it. All right, we're gonna check this. Just an unburnt torch. We're actually gonna take it. We could just go ahead and use it, but I don't think it is necessary yet. Keep the light up here. All right, first fight. Not too bad. A little bit of unholy bone rabbles. Um, their blight's not bad. They cannot be really bled, so. I'll start with the blight here. Um, I think I can go with this the grape shot. Try to go ahead and have this one die. And he's dead, yep, doesn't even get an action. And then if we dazzling light here, we probably can hopefully stun him. Yep. The way is lit. So they the will not get to act this turn. We require only the strength. So the this game, the big um, thing to keep in mind is the action economy, really. Um, oh, I didn't bring a shovel at all. I'm glad I got one because uh, that would have been unfortunate. Uh, so you really want to manage, and we need one right here. So good thing we got that. Even the cold um, stone seems bent on the action economy. Passage. Being able to stun or keep enemies from doing different moves is like a lot of the point um, here because letting them get out certain moves will uh, make your day not so good. Um, I really want the cultist acolyte gone, but I cannot really hit her. I guess we'll try to stun her. So we'll start with the, uh, start with this one. Um, but being able to stun and keep enemies from taking actions is like the whole, oh actually we can't, we can't leave them. So actually pistol shot here. Is, is the whole point of the game. Being able to use what actions we have to heal our heroes, reduce stress, which will cause us to have problems, or to uh, uh, just, you know, keep them detained long enough for us to slowly eke out a win is kind of the uh, the name of the game in this game. I'm gonna try to stun him too, keep them both from doing anything. Alright, he is dead next turn, so we won't even have to devote actions to him. Alright, I, I want to... If I grape shot here, I, I might be able to kill a few of them. Kill two, he'll die on his turn, so we can just spend our time. I'm trying to get some healing up. Uh, currently, we have no one who can do stress relief. So, there's certain characters that can help with the stress. If the stress hits 100, you get either a positive or negative uh, effect, virtuous, which means you will uh, get a positive effect, or um, a negative effect, which will be something like hopeless. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, but stuff that's not very good. Divine Grace, um, you need to be healed. So, you really want don't want stress to hit 100. Great if it hits 200, your character will have a heart attack. Um, reducing all their health to zero and putting them on death's door. Uh, we don't really want to see that, so. Trying to manage stress is a big point. Additionally, um, stress, uh, health will be restored when they get back to Hamlet. Stress that they keep will keep and you have to, um, spin, you know, gold and such and time, uh, letting them rest and recoup, uh, after a mission, so. You need to keep, like, managing that is one of the, the big firm. aspects here. Otherworldly corruption. Because we want to keep the parties going. Okay. And it matters especially a lot early game because we have s such a low party. And you wouldn't want to bring him back out with 63 stress. Um, would In not radiance, be very good for us. May we find victory. Uh, I cannot stun the back, which is still super sad. I think I'm going to go for the Cold Sprawler here because he will bleed and he does a lot of damage. Um, and without the Divine Comfort, we can't really uh, heal up a lot of damage across a bunch of people, so. Five for two, we'll get him done in three rounds. So we can, ooh, this stinks. Ooh, good dodges though from these two. Let's try to dazzle you and another dodge. Dodge of 13. Uh, the numbers to me, I'm not sure like what's high and what's low. 13 I think is pretty high. Um, zero, like higher than these two who have zero, so it's hard to say. 
I think I want to stun you. Could be good, and then we'll again try for the grape shot next round. Elder Bull gonna pull him to the front. Yep. Not fun. Still get the grape shot. Alright. You're done. You're almost done. We just have you in the back. Um I think honestly here we can. I'm trying to think of who needs it there. Dismas, I think, is gonna be the best. Because Reynolds not gonna be able to hit the one in the back. Slowly, so gently. Well, he can now, this but this is how a life is taken. I forgot that, he, that one was gonna die. We can just go ahead. Ooh, another dodge. Cold as acolyte is getting on my head. There we go. Hopefully the stun. There we go. The acolytes. I I, I worry much more about the uh, the stress than I do the damage. All right, and then open vein. Oh, well, we can't bleed you, so. Grip shot here. Press this advantage. All right, Give now we can no start recovering. She, oh, never mind. No good luck. Ooh, grave robber only, plus 25% light. So we do not have grave beat. robber yet, but uh, that is, is pretty good. Plus one speed, minus four dodge is not the worst. Um, grave robber has a pretty good bit. The family sigil. Let's just go ahead and open it. Ooh, it's trapped. Not good. We got blighted. Could have used a key there, I'm pretty sure, but I kind of want to save our key in case there's a secret room, which is something that can come up. Uh, let's reset our party order and let's get moving. Now on the map, you see this is a trap. As you get close, we can see who is good at disarming them. It's mostly Reynold. I'm actually going to take a chance because if you disarm it correctly, you get some stress relief. Oh, he did not. Uh, so he's going to take damage. Cruel That's machinations and stress. Bring to life. With a Went for the high roll purpose. and did not get it. But he's probably going to stay. have to stay home anyway. So. I'm not too upset about it. I think we need to do 90% of rooms. I think I'm going to skip this room and continue down to the treasure over here. I probably can get away with that. Ooh, you are going to try to steal stuff. A fork. Yep. I'll keep this for myself. So we lost all this. Thank you very much for taking the things we need. You don't even have a full inventory yet. It's okay. Uh, hunger. Go ahead and eat. Nom nom. Torch up. Let's go down to the last room we have to do. Not too bad, only one character's really in a bad place. Ooh, this is gonna suck though. Oh no, we have one more shovel. Never mind. I guess we got another one sometime. Because you can clear those by hand without having a shovel, but it incurs a fair amount of stress. Alright, you guys not surprised. Um Bone Courier is Cordier is what we're going to get first. So let's do some damage. One one left. You get one to gobbled out. But he does a lot of stress. 15 per attack. Not very good. Get to play grenade back there. Broken. You're blighted. Maintain the offensive. Alright, gonna do some damage. I think we're okay here. The defender's gonna be annoying because he has high protection. Or higher protection, I guess. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can't even stun him. Let's Try, yeah, let's get you. He can also stun us, so that'll be a good one to keep him doing anything for a round. Activation, pretty good. Yeah. I like it, and then we're gonna go grab. Actually, I'm gonna do a pistol shot. Because he can do a fair amount of damage, he's done. Okay. That is right, you. Right. And then Noxious Blast here. Minus 5 ace, uh, accuracy is also pretty good on you. Because I think unforeseen. one of his skills is pretty low accuracy, so not too bad. Oh, he died in one lap. Not really anything we need to do. We can probably heal a little bit, but not too necessary to keep going. Confidence surges as the enemy right. crumbles. More uh, continue adventuring here. Let's open this chest now. Uh, yeah, go ahead and just use the key. I like the secret compartment. More crests and a couple busts. Not too bad. Let's head home. All right, two thousand dollars. Not the best for loot, but we weren't really going for it. Heirlooms here were pretty good. Sixteen crests and eight busts here. And our team, all of them are level ones. 
minus 20 percent on Vs, and that's right. Plus five accuracy to rain skills, though. We don't really have a lot of rain skills for you. Not the best. Armor Tinker. Okay, that's not bad. I may not meditate while in town. That's fine. Nothing too bad there. There's a couple of really good ones we want to watch for. The tents are pitched. Severe negative Banners perks. Fly, circus. And the right. corpse wagons stand at the ready. Uh, into the rain. The circus Police has come to town. from all heroes. I don't think we're quite ready for that. Fresh we have the tavern to open now. And curtained rooms. And then we have to the, the weary and broken alive. Abbey open now. So we can heal some stress, which we're about to go dusted. ahead the pews and do. Straight. Thousand gold here. Pretty expensive, but if not, he's not going to uh, get any better. So confirm the treatment there. And I think this is enough to be okay with. Let's see what we have. Ooh, got a hound master here. Got actually two of them. Let's see which ones I like better. Hound Rush, Hound Terry's good. Neither one of them have Cry Havoc, which is the one I was kind of hoping. No, you do. You just don't have Lick Wound, but that's fine. Uh, buff skill. That's pretty good too. Guard dog, give everyone 10 dodge. I think. Uh, stress eater, that's fine. Ruin scratcher, better in the ruins. Do you have some like insane one that's good? Okay. Plus 20% healing skill, which don't have no heal. Minus 5 melee damage. No, you're not. Let's take you. Definitely. And then we are going to take an antiquarian. Good to have. Natural eye, spiritual. Okay. Bloodshed. Acquisition of knowledge. Um, get down. You do not have invigorating vapors, but that's fine when we pair with the Howlmaster. So this isn't a bad set. You're pretty good. So we're going to take you two. So now we'll have enough people to make another team. Uh, and see for the next one, um, let's, let's check see. this last thing here: Arbalist and ooh, how master plus four dodge. A little bit, a little bit uh, too rich for my blood today, though. And the jeweler who has the fancy, smancy items here, which are all pretty good. <laughs> but these will be a while away before we get in this. But I hope you guys enjoy. That is going to do it for the first episode. Uh, next time we are going to go back in. I'm going to set up a new team here um, to get in. We still will probably be traveling to the ruins. Um, we can do the farmstead. We will see. I'll look through to see what we have here. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button. Um, let me know in the comments if uh, this is something you're going to enjoy more of. Um, hopefully I'll have a couple other things in the works. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.